We're having a swing and salsa event, so students can come and learn how to do the foxtrot, how to do um, salsa dancing, swing dancing, all different types of ballroom dancing. So we're hoping to open the students' mind up to a different culture and to learn how to dance more classical dancing instead of like the party dance that they are used to doing. I think that swing, swing and salsa went really well tonight. Um, it had a great turnout and it got everybody out to do something like different than what UCM normally hosts. It's important that they host activities for students on campus because it allows students to like, it makes them not want to go home all the time and allows them to stay on campus and do things and meet new people that they wouldn't meet like in their dorm hall. Swing is an American dance and um, it was invented in the late 20s. Uh, and it really bloomed in the 30s and the 40s, then it kind of died out. And then as big band music became more popular again, then there was a surge in the swing. And I think that the swing will live on throughout time. People just absolutely love it. Oh, I love the jazz band and the students that I have came up to me tonight and said, oh, it was just so much different, so wonderful to dance to a live band, and it is. The swing and salsa dance is always really an interesting thing for us to do. It's a good opportunity for us to interact with the public in a little different way, in a more intimate setting than simply playing a concert in Hendrix Hall. It's, it's a really good uh, way for us to get exposure to some classic big band li literature that otherwise we may not play. I think it's really important to preserve jazz, swing, swing dancing, because they are an important part of the American culture. It's something that developed here and it would be really just a shame to lose that. I don't understand people that don't dance. It's good exercise, it's really good for your, your mind, your body, and I just think it's good to, for people at any age to be exposed to that, and the younger the better. You know, I'm just really happy that the swing and salsa dance was able to happen again this term and very much appreciate the work that uh, Jamie Aiken has done in perpetuating this. We've worked on this for many years together. When I first started teaching ballroom here, which was either in 1997 or 1998, um, at the end of our term, which is eight weeks long, the students said, told me that there wasn't any place in town that they could use the skills that they had learned. They'd learned swing and cha-cha and foxtrot and a little waltz, I think. And I said, I'll see what I can set up. And I called David Aberg and he said, sure, we'll do it. College is all about meeting new people, trying new things. Maybe one of these people that are walking in right now, they're gonna find out that they love dancing and they're in the wrong major or something and they wanna do dance or something like that. You don't usually get to learn how to dance like the swing and the salsa. I think these dances, they, they've lasted, some of them for 150 years and I think they'll live on.